Hello everyone, Cesare here with more Final Fantasy Type-0. Today we are in the belly of the beast, so to speak. We are in the Rubrum, or not Rubrum, uh, the Militas capital city, awaiting to find out what's going to happen with Militas. You probably think it's cruel out there in the field. But you reds won't know true cruelty until you're forced to spend a night on a snow-covered mountain. It's beyond arctic up there. I can practically feel the life escaping from my body as the frost bites at my face. If you ever get caught in a blizzard, you either take refuge in a cave or meet an icy death. Interesting. I'm just gonna explore the town, see what people have to say. What is it? So, this is the infamous Militesi Empire. A whole lot different than I imagined. Huh? Hey! Which way back to the hotel? This place is like a giant, one giant labyrinth, yo! Alright, what's this guy gotta say? I bet you think we're all just a bunch of evil invaders, don't you? Well, you're wrong, kid. That's just the propaganda talking. They probably be brainwashed into thinking that we're all just a bunch of barbarians and that Sid Marshal Alstein is some kind of crazed dictator. Well, believe what you will, but it ain't true. The truth is, our crystal's light is fading year by year, and our population is dwindling. Only the upper crust are living in any kind of comfort, and they don't care about us common folk. The rest of you just sit back and watch as our people die of starvation. Marshal Alstein is the only one who even cares about this forsaken nation of ours. That's why we fight. If no one else is up to help us, then we'll just have to help ourselves. Even if that means taking what isn't ours. You'd be doing the same thing if you were in our shoes. But there's no point in trying to explain ourselves to a bunch of reds. We'll never see eye to eye. No matter just, no matter what. Just get out of here. It gives me an ether. So... I found out something interesting about Dragon Quest IX last night. I was uh, trying to make a fan and uh, I got some recipes and one of the fans I got was called the Black Tortoise Shell Fan. And I was like, well that's kind of cool. Then I noticed I had one called the White Tiger Fan. And I was like, well that's coincidental. And then I had the Vermilion Bird Fan. Then I'm like, wait. We have a lot of references here to Final Fantasy Type-0. And having never... Or, and I wouldn't have been able to catch that if I hadn't played these. Alright. It really stinks in here. Huh? You Rubrum folk reek of crystal. I can't stand it. What's that supposed to mean? Unlike we Militacy, you're like lapdogs to your crystal. I'm getting nauseous just breathing the same air. Hey! You want a piece of this, yo? Huh. You say you work for the good of the crystal, then bear your fangs during a ceasefire? You animals. Stop. Don't listen to him. <laughs> I'll take on as many Rubrum dogs as they throw at me. You say we're the lap dogs for the crystal. But I'd say you make a much better pet for Sid. What did you say? What happened to your emperor who sustained this realm? Why do you follow Sid so blindly? How dare you speak of Marshal Sid that way! <laughs> Should have known not to try reasoning with a lapdog. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. yeah. Curse you, Red Scourge of the Empire! Some of these cutscenes just make me... Go, what? 
What's this guy doing? Say, who's that girl in front of the hotel? She's in another one of you reds, is she? Even you reds know about the Bastards, uh, who the Bastards are, right? You know, the Brigadier General? They're one of the most prestigious families in all of Militus. Anyway, I worked security for a number of government officials, so I find myself at Imperial Headquarters pretty frequently, and inside they got a huge portrait of the Bashtar family. The thing is, the girl outside the hotel looks like the Brigadier General's late sister. Wait, how can I compare one of the Bashtars with a filthy red? Oh, forgive me, General. District 7-Eleven. We got this guy here. That's Jack. Anybody else in the area? I can't get all of the scenes. That's unfortunate. Alright, well, we'll talk to Cater in 7. Oh. Uh, Gil, for your thoughts? Hmm? Oh. This is our first time in Militas, right? Yeah. Hmm. Maybe it's deja vu. I just feel like I know this place. Maybe you saw a picture at the Crystarium. No, no, no. I'm not queen. I don't read stuff. <sighs> you should at least read our mission briefs. Oh, okay. I guess I can go talk to Jack. Excellent. Not to give the Empire credit, but this is some town, huh? How do you mean? Well, the Empire doesn't use magic in daily life like we do in the Dominion. But then, how did they build a city like this? They have their MAs in lieu of magic. Well, yeah, I get your point, but still... Before we came here, Queen told me that... MAs also use power drawn from the crystal, and convert its magic-like properties into energy. Oh. So in a way, you can say this land was built with the power of crystals, just like ours was. Yeah, that does make sense. You and Queen are so smart! All right, let's talk to this dude. Be honest with me, kid. Between our impressive technology and your magic spells, which do you really think has the advantage? Sure, your magic can be pretty potent, but in the hands of a good caster, right? Plus, the older you get, the weaker your spells become. Not terribly efficient, huh? We definitely win in terms of accessibility, of course. Magic armor requires a bit of finesse to pilot well, but just... Not, but just about anyone can pick up one of our weapons and use it. In that sense, I'd say we've got you pretty in beaten quantity too. Although it seems like your numbers are growing like crazy lately. And again, we'd never stoop so low as to deploy a bunch of kids. So I think it's a clear-cut victory in terms of morality. Koopa? It's time, every Koopa. Assemble at Hotel Armada immediately, Koopa. What I want to know is how the fuck uh, Nine got lost here, considering... The areas we have access to is just like a square. What's up? There are a lot of soldiers here, and I think they're watching us. Well, of course. I mean, sure, a ceasefire is in place. But to them, having us here is like having rogue MAs on the loose. <laughs> I guess. Hmm. Take care of it. What was that? 
I don't know. To the Concordians? We must be like a dragon without a rider. <laughs> yeah. Not entirely sure that analogy works. But hello, Wintrig. Hello, silly. Let's see, we can explore the escorts or rest up at the hotel. Let's just rest up at the hotel, I guess. The robin has returned to the nest. I repeat, the robin has returned to the nest. Bird. Crystal Jammer? An Imperial attack? As I suspected, we've been sitting in their trap this whole time. You see... Not now, Trey! Oh. <gasps> Run! Oh, no. <laughs> the Chancellor and Crossmare! Oh! Visual! Seize them all! Run for it! If we stay here, we'll suffer the same fate. Let's move on. Alright, who do I want to bring along with me? Let's see. Alright, so since Queen died last time, let's bring Queen... Ram... Uh, do I want Jack, Trey, or Cater? Let's bring Cater. Technically, they didn't betray, they just violated a ceasefire, as far as we know. Alright. Sorry, big guy, but I'm afraid I have... Hey, I got a guest register. Yeah, because that's what I need. Another one. This hotel's been barricaded off pretty good, but they can't stop Class Zero. Come on. Alright. Save our game here, mid. We want to put a stop to class zero, but we're just going to shoot that one little girl and then stop shooting. It's snowing outside. Ow. Okay, I love how my character's not, like, doing anything. We're surrounded! 
Take cover! There are too many of them. What do we do? I'll make you proud. I'm here now. <laughs> Good luck. Leave it to me. Great, my cater leaves for the SP unit just when I need her to not. Hard to see here. I'm closing the barrier to keep them in one place. You can't die. Let me help. Purple Evans, you fought well, but still, you could not survive Queen. Stop them here! Hey, that's Piet. He's running away. You're a loser. That's that guy from, uh... That's the guy from earlier who said that he could fight any of us. And got mad when we called him a lapdog of Sid. Alright. Moving on then. Beginning descent! Oh, one of them was the, uh, was the general or, uh, squad captain. Oh well, didn't survive very long. Close the barrier! So much for that. Look at my NPCs are not really fighting, they're just kind of doing shit. Oh, I don't cast a spell. Come here, MP, please. Oh, there's a guy in a Colossus. Sit him with a thundog, a shotgun, please. It may be better to stop running around town and go underground. <laughs> Captain Frost defeated readily. Yeah, 30 MP from him, too. Yeah, let's go underground. He escaped underground! Well, they figured that out quick. All soldiers on duty. Begin code 103. Stop all trains in the capital. Find the targets. There we go. Moving on. All workers evacuate. Search team. Contact. There they are. The Queen's assassin. Message to Central Command. Ignore. Destroy targets immediately. See, their mission is to destroy or kill us, so why did they shoot the little girl and then just stop shooting? Playtime's over. God damn, I love Speed Rush. It's so cool.
We have not been able to apprehend the targets. Well, we lost them isn't going to cut it! They're wanted for the assassination of the Queen of Concordia. We must find them! Sir! Assassination? Of the Queen? No. It's no use. I can't contact the Dominion. It can't be. Don't tell me they got the Chancellor, too. Is Rubrum safe? I still have my memories of the Chancellor. And Crossame was by his side. Mm-hmm. If we can still remember Kurasame and the Chancellor, that means that they're still alive and well. Alive and well for now. Maybe a better way to put it. But... Then... Why don't they respond? And why do they think we did it? Maybe the crystal made us forget killing her, somehow. But if that were true, we should still remember that we assassinated someone. That is an excellent deduction on your part, Rem. One with which I am inclined to agree wholeheartedly. I remember that we were introduced to the Queen of Concordia. However, I don't remember the Queen herself. So, she must really be dead. Furthermore, if everyone else's memories are the same, then we obviously had dealings with the Queen. In which case, that would certainly be more than enough evidence to implicate us in the assassination. Hmm. One more thing. This is only a theory, but it's possible that we were chosen as the killers. From the beginning, before the assassination took place. You've got to be kidding! What do you mean, we? Leave me and Rem out of this! Just a moment, Queen. What do you mean now? Well, how else might you explain those Imperial soldiers descending directly upon our room? Now that you mention it, it is kind of strange that they gave us leave here instead of sending us home. You... You can't mean... the Dominion would sacrifice us. Machina, that's enough, okay? You're not going to come up with any answers right now. Either way, it would be wise for us to avoid getting caught. We need to get out of here now. I agree, Eight. The assassins must not be allowed to escape! Battle Formation 1! Okay, why do my character just run around the corner like that? That was rude of it. Playtime's over. Fine. I'll give you a hand. Well, isn't that nice of you? I want to ride this Colossus. Let me in. I don't. Fine. I see how it is. Targets acquired. Alright, so this is a big guy. He. Hurts. What is that big thing? See? He gets damage off on me and So we're just gonna run away. I'm 
here to help. Playtime's over. Oh! So the big super soldier guy, I probably could kill him if I stayed around and waited for him to uh, attack and... Don't let the terrorists have their way! But, I don't want to do that. Stop! Don't be so bothersome! Because you can only really damage him when he does the, uh, when he attacks and those yellow, uh, images appear over him. Need a key to activate that device, huh? Goodbye. Wait a sec. Goodbye. Mission orders, Koopa, track down the target and steal his key. Hey, right. hey, I could. Fuck off. Oh, you're in one of these. All right. Goodbye. Have I mentioned that I like uh, Queen's speed rush ability? There he is again. Just kind of fucking hanging around like an asshole. Damn it! Did not jump far enough. Thank you. And out of the way. I'm here to help. No, you're not. That's the. I could have sworn I just picked it up. I mean, maybe I didn't, but. Captain Norman, you fought a good, or you ran a good campaign there, but uh, unfortunately, I have Shunpo, so you cannot, uh, you cannot catch me when I'm flash stepping around the arena. Miro looks better with bangs. What are you talking about? Are you guarding this way again, Akid? Oh, nice try. Fucking swung his sword at me like an asshole. I mean, I agree Miro looks better with bangs, but... Who's Miro? Like, there's no Miro in this that I'm aware of. Rem, are you feeling okay? <sighs> I'm just a little dizzy. I'll be fine. Would you like to rest a little while? We can't. The enemy would spot us here. We can't sacrifice the whole team for one member. She's only saying we need to find a safer place. I'm fine. Really. Sorry to worry you all. Let's go, Makina. Damn it. I have not seen the patch notes yet, silly. I will check them out in a little bit um, when I am done stream. But I, I was actually wondering if you post them for thanks. So for thanks for asking a question I forgot to ask, or answering a question I forgot to ask. Oh, let's see here. Okay, this is a good time to reset my recording.